We could go on all night, but I'm just going to fast track you through some legislative tyranny that has been going on for some time now. Rainmaking Control Act 1967, Section 8, cloud seeding in Victoria to induce rainfall in another state. 67. And they've done it to a T, haven't they? When they want to create a drought, it doesn't rain. And when you don't need the rain, it comes down in buckets. And they make sure that where it rains destroys, or I don't know, by coincidence, the same tract of land going up the eastern seaboard with a very fast train supposed to go in. Now, here's a good question for an incoming government. Let's do an investigation into the politicians who own land along that track. And I can give you a name right now, or three, but I won't. But let's, let's have a look at who does that, for example. And the fires, and the floods, and the fires, and the floods, and Brian, Blind Freddy can see that you've got to get rid of the, uh, the undergrowth, but they don't. Why? Because it makes excellent fuel for another fire. And then they, we cry because the koalas did. And the greens, oh, the greens. Thank goodness for the greens. You can't down chop down. If you're a cocky, you can't chop down that eucalypt because, you know, 80,000 koalas will die. And in New South Wales, our former premier, and if they were still in charge, she'd still be in charge. And if the Masonic filth would still be in charge, our police, police commissioner would still be in charge. But we've got Commissioner Karen now. And they pronounced these new uh, species of eucalypt can't be cut down. So the cockies own the land, but they can't control the land. And here's how good the greens are. You can't, you can't fault them on their detailed work. A1 contact up north was trying to get some work done on her property. In came the, uh, the EPA or whoever it was, and they found a koala, a dead koala, under one of her trees. Oh, well, she must be doing something wrong. Stop work. Kenny, Kenny neighbor said to her, get the hold of the koala quick and get a DNA test. And she said, why, just do it. Turns out that koala came from Phillip Island. Now, that's a well travel koala because this guy ended up at the central coast of New South Wales. The Greens get dead koalas and they sprinkle them around and they cause a fuss. The polis know it, the police don't care, and individuals get stitched up. And the local council said, I'm sorry, you can't do anything about it. Just so we're, local councils will be evaporated as soon as we get into power. And just for fun, we'll have another inquiry into unexplained wealth of councillors over the last, what, I don't know, 30 years. Okay. Snowy Mountains Cloud Seeding Act 2004. Queensland Cloud Seeding Research Program. CSIRO Marine and Atmospheric Research Guidelines for the Utilization of Cloud Seeding as a Tool for Water Management, May 1995. Well, they're managing that water beautifully, aren't they? When you don't need it, you got it. And when you do, it ain't there. Blind Freddy can work out what they are doing. And I'll just throw this one in as a bonus up in Queensland. They passed legislation, I think, earlier this year, maybe last year, can't tell. This happened so quick. You really got to have eyes in the back of your head. They passed legislation to irradiate fruit and vegetables. Now, you don't need to be a physicist to figure out that irradiating seeds will make them useless, infertile. I don't know about you, but I probably had 6,000 avocado seeds sitting on my kitchen window so with the two little toothpicks either side hanging in the water. Anybody else try that? Not one of them has germinated. Yet I've got Jackie, our good friend over here, who's got an avocado tree. She gives us avocados, and she grows a tree. She just throws a seed out there back. Boof, a week later, she's got a whole harvest on there. What's the difference, commercial and private, and not irradiated? <clears throat> Defence Legislation Amendment, Enhancement of the Defence Forces Response to Emergencies Bill 2020, Section 123, AA brackets 4. That's the one that says foreign police and military can come into Australia and act with impunity and immunity. Completely unnecessary. It was checked out by a then sitting Member of Parliament, interviewed by a, a then freedom fighter, apparently. And I dismantled it line by line and said, no, nah, this is very, very bad, folks. It's unnecessary. And yet here they are. Gene Technology Act 2000, Section 58, limited control and release applications. So what? Well, what that actually means is they can spray you with whatever they want. Did you ask for that? Did they tell you about it? 
Surveillance Legislation Amendment Identity and Disrupt Bill 2021. That's the one where they get to get into your social media, add, delete, edit, amend your data. For your security, of course. See, these organisations like the AFP and ASIO are more interested in manufacturing crime than defeating crime. And this stuff goes through, and like the good little Masonic filth they are, they do exactly what they're told to do. 2020, parliamentary inquiry into the impact of emerging technologies impact on the Privacy Act, including human microchip implants and radio frequency identification RFID chips. Do you remember when we first started talking about RFID, people said, oh, you bunch of loons. What, injected RFID chips under your skin? Yeah, you're just a bunch of conspiracy theorists. Get out of here. Alan Jones, tell you about this. Peter Credlin. Cashed up Bogan, Paul Murray, spineless Andrew Bolt, and I hope that stings. I hope that stings. I was planning this a long time ago, folks. You know how you know something's true? That's when Snopes says that it's not. When the fact checkers come out and say it's not true, bet your bottom dollar. It's fact. You can take it to the bank. Did you ask for any of this? Did they tell you about it? Is it possible that there's more? Hell yeah. Absolutely. If this continues unchecked, what will they do to us next? Well, let's take a look. Now, this is just the tip, the tip of the iceberg. And I'll just ask the gentle souls, my two little daughters, to leave. There's no pictures here, but the discussion gets a little unpleasant. Thanks, kids. Man, they've learned a bit about um, politics. The Galactic Larrikins, buddy, outstanding. Just up and away they go. They get this stuff happening.